I go to New York. <clears throat> I've been talking to you. And because I'm separated. You think I'm not going to see somebody that I like? Nigga. I got Cheeto. You lucky I just seen you. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Boy, all type of revenge and vengeance start coming over you. Like, you know what, nigga? I got something for your ass, Mr. Postman. Yeah. Go ahead and get this nigga some ass. Go back. You know what I'm saying? Rub it in his face. You know, I'm uh, God, man, the Leo is it's dangerous. It's so dangerous. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It, it, Claire's so goddamn suave. He probably was trying to let it be known like I'm not even trying to get in your drawers. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm, I'm just kind of with what you want to do. Like what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? But I wouldn't have went back to the Airbnb. No. Y'all are together. Y'all are friends. Okay. Oh, y'all chill out. I see y'all either if I come back tonight. Oh, I'll be back tomorrow. You know what I'm Yo, who am I? I go by J. I ain't know no savage shit. Free JT, I am that bitch, but I am not your bitch. I still pop my lips, still snack on chips. I take a nine inch strap. I don't take no dick. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host. I need y'all to go subscribe to my people's Bryson Nesby. He currently has 1,018 subscribers. I need y'all to go ahead and get him to 1,500. You get what I'm saying? Um, He does smoke sessions. Uh... You know, talks about life topics, uh, transgender news, um, reaction videos to other YouTubers, and you know, just reaction videos in general, man. And I need y'all to go subscribe to my peoples. Like I said, they have a thousand subscribers. Let's get them to 1500 by the end of the day. I love y'all. Do that for me and do it now. The shit is free. Do you understand? Shit is free. It don't cost you nothing. You know what I'm saying? Go do that for my people. Enjoy the video. <clears throat> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host. And today, I'm back with another reaction video. So, late night mukbang the truth about the girls' trip. I haven't reacted to this yet, nor have I watched it. I guess they're exposing themselves of what really happened when Queen went there. Now, let's be very clear. We all know Queen went there. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no way you go all the way to New York. You know, you got this dude you've been crushing on for a minute. You know what I'm saying? And don't go see him. There's no way. When when I seen that she went there, I was like, she had to go see him. And her ass went to see him. You know, adults know you went to see him. Now, all the, I don't understand the whole discrepancy thing though. Well, maybe she gonna explain that. She was with Chris when she went, whatever. I just feel like, you cheat on me, you know? In the process of going through a divorce, cause she, you know what I'm saying? They were um, breaking up, you know what I'm saying? When you marry, you marry. But some people that have been talking about the situation or reacted to the situation or whatever, um, have said like pretty much with her being married, that was an issue. Like you married, so you know, you can't go talk to another man until you divorce. But bitch, I'm not about to wait for that. You know what I'm saying? Like we're not, first of all, she's younger than me. Niggas is not 50 years old living back in, in the 1800s. See what I'm saying? You cheated on me. So we breaking up, right? We're going to break up. I don't want to be with your animal. And we got to get divorced, but I'm not about to sit around and wait either. So it's called a separation. So when you separate, that's when you uh, start to plan for the divorce and shit like that. So you're telling me in the process of that, people don't you know, talk to other people. Bullshit. They do, okay? And that's what she did. And obviously, she's in a better place. So, we gonna react to that video. And go pull me up some water. And, uh, let's get it poppin'. Let's get it. What's up, Brother Squad? It's your girl, Queen Mina Once again, I'm back with another video. Claire's in the background trying to play oh Legend to sleep. I'm about to do a mukbang, but first, let me freaking show y'all this food before I open this up. It's amazing. It looks amazing. I'm about to be I'm starving. You guys, um, if y'all live in Atlanta and y'all ever want like catering or anything, Ooh. look at that mac and cheese. That's the baked chicken. Oh. potatoes and string beans. Hey! Come here. Fire. 
So I'm about to do a mukbang, you guys, with this food. I'm going to show you yeah, 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 Tony. But this looks freaking amazing, and I know it tastes good. Out. He looks out every time. You didn't even show him. He, I told oh, him dessert, too. He also got dessert, too? Yeah. Shout out this to the caterer. Homemade, too. This ain't no, he didn't just buy this. Like, you know, homemade banana pudding. Look at Legend over there, y'all. I'm coming, baby. I'm coming. He's I'm coming. So spoiled now. You I'm over coming. there in the car. No, I'm coming. I'm in your car. Coming, okay. Remember, what else you ordered? Man. Peach cobbler? Oh my god, that looks amazing. Mm. I think it's like bourbon, some bourbon. What is his YouTube? Yeah, I mean, it's um. I don't even know if I want to do freaking my bank. Instagram. <laughs> right. I want to. I want to savor the flavor. All right, y'all. So I'm not. I'm not about to be. I'm not about to be lazy. And is she not say his Instagram? I'm trying to eat my food at the same time and do a mukbang. I find out. But listen. I missed it. If I like stop in between my words to chew, I'm sorry. I'll probably edit it out. You didn't even have to apologize. Mm. Shit looked too good. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is so good. I don't know if I'll make it through. <laughs> I don't know. Out. You feel me? My weave is just too luxurious to be out. From the looks of this title, I'm gonna be stealing some tea on myself. Yes. It's really none of y'all business. <laughs> but I don't care at this point. You feel me? Sorry. So remember when I went on that girls trip, you guys? It was me, Ari, Vache, Dorothy. This is how it all happened. Queen, you need some sour cream on that. I, I, I know you're telling the story and shit. You already ate this. But next time, dip that thing in some sour cream. Hello. So, I was living with Trey in our mind, you know what I'm saying? Separated. And I was, y'all, everybody already know I was conversating with Claire, talking to him on the phone, FaceTiming, texting, whatever. So, we were talking. We had been talking for a little bit. And I was telling him, you know what I'm saying? Uh, New York. New York is a place I always wanted to go to. I never been to New York, you know what I'm saying? Seems seems nice. Seems seems good. Seems amazing. So he was like, uh, I ain't gonna come to New York. Uh you well capping wasn't a word then, but he was like, you Bullshit. You chatting, you chatting, you ain't coming to New York. So, you know what I'm saying? I didn't think I was serious. I really wanted to visit New York. So I was like, you know what? It was December. I was like, maybe I should go on a little, a little trip to New York. I want to go by myself. I would like to Sorry. go, you know what I'm saying, with some girls. That'd be dope. So at first, I asked Jazz and Tate, could they come with me to New York? But I think they was, I think they didn't want to come or they could, couldn't come because they was doing something else. They had other plans or whatever. So I was like, okay. So, you know, by this time, me and Ari, like, we was like, we was like talking often and stuff like that. Um, we wasn't like the best of friends, um, but we were getting closer. You feel me? So... I had I had texted Ari and I was like, hey, um, what you what you doing this day? You know what I'm saying? Why don't you come to New York with me? Cause I need someone to go with. Um, it's probably beautiful out there. It's snow, cause in Texas it wasn't snowing and stuff. I was like, you know, we go see the snow or whatever. And you know what I'm saying? I wanted to go see a friend. So she already knew who this friend was. You know what I'm saying? So we just eventually, I mean, we just automatically start laughing. And because she kind of felt like mm, you ain't trying to go on no girl's trip. You, you more than likely just want to go see a friend. I was like, no, <clears throat> girl, let's go on a girl's trip. Let's go have fun. Hell no. Nah. See, I feel like at that time, and y'all might be like, bitch, bye. That's when Eric should have got on my guy. Now, I don't know why they didn't do that. You know her. 
I mean, obviously. I guess it's obvious reasons why, but I wonder did they think about it, you know? Did he think about fucking with Eric? I was like, do you know anybody else? Who he like, should do a story time about like, that. You know, so maybe it could just not be the two of us in the office. So she had a friend named Vache, which was like um, one of her close friends. And you know, Vache was cool, and Vache, Vache had a friend named Dorothy. Like, they, you know, so I was like, I'm great, oh, like that as well. So we all ended up going. Starving. And the very first night that we got to New York. Um, I remember the excitement. Like I remember like how free I felt, like how new I felt to just be able to go somewhere like by my not by myself, but like by myself on my own, you know, with my own company. Like it it was it was so out from under uh Chris's ass. Y'all know that boy didn't want her to go nowhere and do nothing. Oh, and it felt good. The flight there, just like the whole aura, the aura of everything, like the bridges and the lights and the city lights and all that stuff. So everybody was excited. I'm pretty That's sure crazy because I did not feel the same way. The, um, the video was, we was singing in the car and that. And so it really did like turn into like a girl's trip. However, when I went there, you know what I'm saying? The person I had been talking to for the longest, of course, I wanted to, you know, see him. So, what happened was we like, we went to our Airbnb first and um, we wanted to get into something. We wanted to go do something out. We wanted to go like out. We wanted to dress up, go out, whether it was like a, a little lounge or whatever you want to call it, club. And so the only issue was Vache and Dorothy were underage. They they wasn't 21 yet, so they couldn't get into like the clubs or anything like that. We actually did all go to the club, but they wouldn't let them to win. So me and Eric just wasn't about to go in there and then leave them behind. So you know, um, we ended up we ended up just like being out and about, like just roaming the streets of NYC. New York City, Manhattan, not um, not like the hood parts of New York. Okay. But um, where I was. Who was it? I think it was Vache who had a. Vache had. Bro, I was with one of my peoples who lived in um Brooklyn at the time. No, the <clears throat> the Bronx, excuse me. And late at night in the Bronx, it's a different feeling, like. I obviously, I didn't feel like I was just walking around Charlotte. I felt like I was in the Bronx. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was in the Bronx. You know what I'm saying? It was like, I'm in the Bronx. It's like 12 o'clock at night. I know I'm with you and all that, but... I'm nervous. I was nervous. I was nervous. Like a uncle or like a cousin that stayed in Philly and he wasn't too far. So he came to like show us around. But I'm like, the guy that I talked to, Clarence NYC, told me that he know where all the spots is and that. <coughs> so I messaged him and stuff. Well he knew I was coming out there, but like it wasn't like a, it wasn't like a thing where we was gonna link up as soon as I got there. But like if we had time we we're gonna like, you know, meet each other or whatever. And so I hit him up and I'm like, where you at? He's like, um, I'm about to go to a party with, and at the time it was Jerry, but I'm about to go to a party with Patty. And I was like, oh, you're going to a party, but I came out here, you know what I'm saying? So you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna come see me or like, you don't want to see me or whatever. So he was like, no, no, it's not that. It's just, um, I thought you had your girls with you, you know what I'm saying? And so... I was like, yeah, sure enough, I do have my girls with me, but. I just love when people spill tea. I'm just so waiting on her to spill the tea, okay? Spill it! I only think it's two of them are under eight, so now it's like kind of hard to get into places and, you know, go do things before everything closes. So I was like, going here, go do your thing, you know, go to your little party, whatever. Yeah. I didn't have no say so over like where he went, like he was just friends at the time, so. I was a little, I was a little disappointed, you know, I ain't gonna lie, cause I was like, I've been here, you know what I'm saying, you ain't gonna like, 
asking me to go holla at your girl. But he ended up riding to the party, but ended up not going. But by the time he ended up saying he didn't want to go to the party, I was at a diner. Like, it was like 2 in the morning. It was uh, all of us who were at a diner with um, the Shay uncle, whatever, uh, wh whoever he was. And um, he, he texted me when I thought he was going to the party. He was like, where you at? And I was like, I'm at this diner, da da da. And he was like, send me the address. So, y'all, I'm not gonna hold y'all up. Like, I was like, I was a little geek because I was like, oh my God, I got like nervous. I was like, I'm finally about to see him in person, like the guy that I've been like talking to, like on the phone, on FaceTime for like a minute now. It's That's crazy because I'm so impatient. <clears throat> You would have had to see me when I got there. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, I'm here. Where you at? I don't care what time it was. Hey, I just landed. This is my Airbnb address. Pull up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get it. I came with y'all and all that. But y'all, I'm grown. You know what I'm saying? Like, granted, that would have been real inconvenient for them girls. <clears throat> You know what I'm saying? I get that part. But you, I told you to bring friends for a reason. <clears throat> Sorry, y'all. I told you to bring friends for a reason. You know what I'm saying? So y'all cool out real quick. Let me handle my business. It's crazy because like, I'm about to see him and I'm just like, I don't know what to think. Like, how do I look? Like, this is all the things going through my head as like a girl. And I'm I'm pretty sure if y'all was in the same boat, y'all would probably be thinking the same thing. So... Anyway, I'm sitting here waiting. I'm like so nervous. I had on like this sweater dress. It was like this like tan brown sweater dress with these these um these boots, these long black boots that came up to my thighs. And um I'm sure y'all probably remember that picture. I have a picture. If I see the picture, I'll put it in, but if not, I'm like gonna waste my time. Okay. But <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, so I had on this little this dress. And then so he finally came in. He had Patty with him. And so at first all of us were sitting at like this this long table with chairs. But I moved over to a booth by myself so that I could talk with Claire or whatever. But Patty was across from us and Claire came and sat next to me. Y'all, the feeling that I had was like my heart was like jumping. I was like all of a sudden this huge feeling of shyness just like overcame overcame my body and I was just like y'all y'all know Clarence walked in there all suave and shit you know what I'm saying so I don't know I you get a feel I can't it, it sucks that I can't speak like it don't suck I don't speak from a girl's perspective you know what I'm saying I speak from the other side I'm a different breed you know what I'm saying I speak from the other side so I've just always been that person, though, if I want it, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to get it on if, uh, what the case is, because this is me. I'm me, you know what I'm saying? I I want to do what I want to do. I'm going to do what I want to do, you know what I'm saying? And um, I don't know, like, sh nervousness comes over me, but I feel like that's when I'm most elite, you know what I'm saying? That's when, that's when you know, I you ain't going to see me sweat, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Fuck that. You yeah. know, that's when I'm most elite. But I'll let you know later, like, I'm nervous than a motherfucker, but I thugged it out. You know what I'm saying? Facts. <laughs> Colin, and I was like, oh, my God. So he came in, and my first thoughts were, I was like, oh, my God. It's him. I was like, why are you wearing that coat? You remind me of, like, a church coat. Like, that, these are the things I was thinking in my head. Looking like a pastor um, and shit. Seeing him in person, I was like, oh my God, he's shorter than I thought. I was trying to size him up. I was trying to see, you know, was he taller than me? And yeah, he was. And I was just like, oh my God, he's so fine. He finally he is on the picture. I was like, oh my goodness. So he sat down. He was like, what's up? And I was like, what's up? And then Patty was across from us. And I was like, what's up? Frank's red hot. And like, so we had started talking about the whole... Frank's red hot thing. They head down to the and he was like, no, nah, nah. So I introduced them to um, the girls across the table who I was with. And so they was like, what's up? Da, da, da. So I don't think 
said that I liked the food that was there. And I, I was it. like, I don't want this. Like, I don't want this. So there was a subway across the street. So I guess uh, Shay's cousin had left, which was a male. So they were like, y'all want to go to subway across the street? Like, I'm hungry. So we we went to subway all the Oh, us. it was another dude over there. Probably wouldn't have went over there neither. Nope. But, um, and I remember just sitting next to him and feeling all like butterflies and stuff. And like, <clears throat> I remember he, um, he was ordering his sandwich and then I noticed that he like had like tomatoes on it. And I was like, I don't like tomatoes. <laughs> and then he got this, cram this cheesecake cr cranberry cookie from there. And he offered me something and I was like, no, I'm okay. They don't look, you know what I'm saying? And um, he gave me a piece of cooking. I actually, you know, I actually liked it. Anyway, so we just talking, talking, talking. And so I didn't want to go back to the Airbnb. However, I had the girls with me, so I didn't want to, like, have everyone going over his house. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and, like, we just met for the first time and everything. But... We all was talking and it ended up being that way. So we all got in an Uber, like this van. It was so funny because the way everybody was, like, I, I was beating around the bush so bad. <coughs> I was like, what you about to do? And it was like, shoot, nothing, what you about to do? And I was like, I don't know, I don't wanna go back home though. You know what I'm saying? I don't wanna go back to the, I don't wanna go back to the room. I mean, to the Airbnb. Cause I'm not tired or anything like that. Nigga, I'm trying to get it with you. You know what I'm saying? It, it, Claire is so goddamn suave. He probably was trying to let it be known, like I'm not even trying to get in your drawers. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm I'm just kind of with what you want to do, like what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? But I wouldn't have went back to the Airbnb. No, y'all are together. Y'all are friends. Okay. All y'all chill out. I see y'all either if I come back tonight or I'll be back tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't saying they had to have have sex or none of that. I'm just saying. I would have wanted, I would have rather been there with him having our conversation, you know what I'm saying? Talking about whatever we're going to talk about or whatever. Chill, kick it, watch a movie, whatever. Fall asleep, hell, I don't, you know, whatever. You know what I'm saying? That, I don't know if he said, do you want to come over or. I don't know who said what. I don't know who insisted who goes away. Well, it was probably like, you ain't going to invite me? To his house in the basement. And I remember walking down the stairs and I was like, this is a big thing you're taking pictures in, that's crazy. And I was like, oh my God, I'm in Claire's NYC's house. And so like, I was just so, I don't know, I just felt so, oh, I can't even, I can't even explain the feeling, you guys. So, so y'all know the costume video videos on, it was me at the end, Claire in the middle, Airy on the other side, and I was about to say, Patty would have had to go like, home. But he turned on his seat. That's what I'm saying. Why, why Patty didn't come over? Hey, he must not want to Airy, bro. <laughs> and I'm not trying. I'm not trying to make this issue. So don't. I'm just saying. You know, it just seemed like that would have went that way. You know what I'm saying? Even if you had to just entertain him. You know what I'm saying? Like. I need you to entertain him so y'all can get the hell away from us. You know what I'm saying? I need you and you to go over there. Go talk to each other. You know what I'm saying? Maybe Patty was like, fuck that. I don't want her. I'm about to take my ass back to the crib. You know, he in his his state. You know what I'm saying? So he probably like, I'm about to go back to the crib. You know what I'm saying? Versus trying to holler at her. I don't know. TV and then I think Scary Movie was on there. Yeah, I'm so <coughs> I'm literally so so awkward. So like, scary movie. Like I barely had like ever seen that movie, but I knew about it. So it's like, so I was actually trying to watch it because I was trying so hard to not show that I was nervous. So like, it was certain parts that I wanted to laugh at, but I didn't really want to laugh because <laughs> my laugh was like weird. And I was like, oh my god, queen, don't like. I was saying in my head like, queen, don't laugh, don't laugh, don't laugh. So like, I ended up laughing. Dang. I wonder if he think like my laugh sounds stupid or I wonder like these are all things going through my head y'all just dumb stuff when we used to make time I used to see the lights in his room and stuff like that so I was like um why don't you show me the lights in your room he was like okay come on 
So I went in there, we left the door open, y'all. Um, it was funny because like somebody one of the girls was talking to me. I don't know what they were saying, but you know that kind of thing, like, oh get a girl, you know what I'm Okay, you were the lights. <laughs> we I remember sitting like at the edge of like his uh his bed and I was just like looking around his room. I was sitting there talking and like I was just so freaking nervous. Like I could have sank in a freaking sank a word. I could have sunk in a freaking hole. I remember him like rubbing my my back when we were sitting on the couch. When he was rubbing his hand like on my back, I was just like sitting there like <laughs> That is hilarious. <coughs> Claire. Claire is a smooth operator. Oh my god, I shouldn't even post this video. I can like think you're doing too much. But like, I literally felt like a teenager, y'all. I felt like a little girl. Oh my god. She, she, she get that feeling all over again. Do you hear me? <laughs> Getting that same feeling all over again. Let me tell y'all something. Ain't nothing like the first time. It ain't nothing. If it was good. And I'm not talking about sex. What I'm talking about is your first interaction with a person. You know what I'm saying? With a person that you like. A person that you would... You know what I'm saying? You could potentially see yourself being with or having sex with. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's not all about sex. So, I, I'm sure, you know what I'm saying? That's a good... That, like, that That's just something you can't take back. A first kiss you can't take back. You can't take back the first kiss. You know what I'm saying? Oh, not take it back. You can't bring it back. That first kiss is everything. Like, if it's good. Now, if you got a bad kiss that's trash, that's just terrible. And you know, in the mix of you being in a relationship and shit, y'all end up having sex that's like better than the first time. You know what I'm saying? Or even an interaction that was better than the first time. You know what I'm saying? You can have those moments again. It's possible, you know? But ain't nothing like the first time. I so anyways, we ended up going home that night. No, I didn't spend the night. And so the rest of the trip, I think we've seen each other like two more times. Two more days after the trip. And I just kind of went over there and like just chill. The last day that I seen him, he was sick. So I remember bringing him like, Big vapor rub and the night pill, day and night pills. Oh. And I remember just going over there, like bringing him like some food or whatever, cause it was late. <coughs> and I guess we would go over there. I would go over there and like this time we wasn't like on the couch, like we'd be in his room, just chilling, watching like Office or like I don't know, like a movie. And we would talk and like play around. And it was just like after I went back to Texas, I was like, I want to go back to New York. And then eventually, Genius ended up hitting me up, saying that they wanted to interview me about medicine. And so that's the that's when I went up here and seeing him the second time. That's when we did the video. And it's like we just clicked. We really just like clicked. Like everybody's seen it. The chemistry was like. I know y'all wondering why the hell I looked over that twice. <laughs> um, something going on my eye. So crazy. That was when I was staying in a hotel too. And him and Patty came over and we just would all do videos and stuff. And like, <coughs> I kept extending my stay. I kept extending my flight. I kept extending the hotel stay. And I was just like, yo, I do not want to go home. I love New York. Like, it wasn't just out there. Like, it wasn't just, like, me seeing him. And that's when I met Lee the second time I went there. And she fixed my problem and everything. And me and him did, like... Telling you she the problem fixer. Lee don't get enough credit. Niggas be hating on Lee so bad. Don't even know. <laughs> they don't even know. Lee gets you straight. Whatever you need. She go get you straight. Shout out to Lee. I got a lot of respect for Lee. That's my dog.
like a photo shoot with his um, Design by White jogging fits, which he didn't come out with, which he needs to work on. But um, I just remember those days like it was yesterday. Like it just felt so new, and I, I just I was falling in love. I I know I know you guys might be like, oh Queen, you're so stupid, you sound so stupid, how can you fall in love? But I was literally falling in love because like just imagine you fall in love with FaceTime. Like every night with somebody and they stay in a different state and you want to see them and like okay. I can't even get into details of like the things we used to talk about. It's really like so deep and like just so I don't know, he just was just a light to me. Like and um let me go have my boy. What am I about to say? I just wanna say I love you. I love you too, baby. Oh my god, you guys don't even understand. No, I was telling them like how I felt the story and everything, like how we first like met and I came in your room and like in the basement? Yeah, and I came in your room and I was like remember I was asking about your lights and stuff and I was all nervous. Yeah, that's when I used to have the lights on. You were scared to come in the room. Yeah. The red lights. And um Claire's I told him that like I went I told him when I really came to New York. I just told him. Uh, no, I told him when I came before the genius interview. Oh I wonder how they feel about that. I wonder how they feel too. But I told him that. Y'all niggas his whole life together, you know what I'm saying, living with each other. He got a whole baby that looked just like him. You know what I'm saying? Listen, we already knew. I already knew. I'm grown, nigga. Like, I go to New York. <clears throat> I've been talking to you. And because I'm separated. You think I'm not going to see somebody that I like? Nigga, I got cheated on. You lucky I just seen you. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Boy, all type of revenge and vengeance start coming over you. Like, you know what, nigga? I got something for your ass, Mr. Postman. Yeah. Go ahead and get this nigga some ass. Go back. You know what I'm saying? Rub it in his face. You know, I'm, uh, God, being a Leo is it's dangerous. It's so dangerous. You know what I'm saying? It's dangerous. Facts. After that, the first time I just wanted to go to New York, like, all the time. Yeah. That's when you, you wanted to live there. That's when I was like, no, I really want to live there. That's when I, I told them, that's when I was, like, falling. You just falling for you, boy? <laughs> I was. So yeah. And now and now look, he's here. We live together now. Oh. Facts with a <laughs> whole baby. I know that that is crazy. Can't believe it. Babe, what you doing? <laughs> stop it. No, don't stop. Alright guys. Nasty look. as hell. Alright, yeah. I'm out. I'm about to go. Eat the rest of my food and go shower and the camera's about to die. Yeah, it's a lucky night. Stay tuned for better videos when I get better. I'm sick too over here eating cough drops like they candy and shit. But anyway, y'all, more of the story is I just want y'all to know and I hope that y'all realize that I'm gonna do whatever the fuck I wanna do. You know what I'm saying? And I think now don't have vengeance and shit like me. Don't be that person. You know, vengeance vengeance can can be wrong. Take you the wrong way. Yeah. I don't want y'all to think I just be thinking like just get her ass up to anybody. It's not like that. I just feel, you know, I can do what I want. <laughs> I can do what I want. But anyway, for more videos like this, please give this video a thumbs up. We on to the next video. Peace out. Are you looking to get your shirt printed by Nick G the host? And not only get your shirt printed, get the fattest, the best, the baddest logo in the world and that's royalty apparel and you can get it from me yes me i do everything i print out the logo i cut the logo i pick the logo i also make sure it's measured right so it won't be crooked on your shirt then i press it down okay one two three pop open then you got the best logo out in the world okay and I gotta make sure that it's on correctly. Not only that, 
I gotta ship it. So I make sure it's on there, heat and press right. Then I make sure it's folded right. Package it right. Okay, okay. Then you gotta close it so it can get to you on time. You know what I'm saying? Then I put my P.O. box on a paper and I send it to your door. Let me know if you want your shirt printed. Go visit royaltiesworld.bigcartel.com and go get your shirt today. Peace out.